Hey friends, Rick from BCW here, and I am outside CM Games here in Knoxville, Tennessee for another BCW Spotlight. Let's go ahead and step inside and take a look around the store. Hey friends, Rick from BCW Supplies here with another BCW Spotlight. This time I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee at Card Monster Games and I'm joined today by Matt, the Director of Operations. Matt, thank you so much for joining us for this video and the Spotlight series and thank you for uh, allowing us to be at your beautiful store here. How are you doing? Great, man. Thanks, thanks for coming down. It's been a while. Haven't seen you since the shows, <laughs> but it's awesome to have you back. Yeah. I, I am stoked to be here. Uh, now, this is a newer store for you, and we'll get into the, the, the progression of stores, but congratulations. This store is beautiful. Uh, the aesthetic is nice, as the little montage package before this shows. I mean, you've got a little bit of everything, and a, or I'm, let me rephrase. You have a lot <laughs> of everything in this store, So, uh, and this is only one of several stores yes. you guys have. So, we'll, 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 we'll get into that in just a second here. Uh, but I do want to ask a question I normally start off with, you know, how did you get involved in gaming? So what was your first experience? Yeah, so I think I, you know, I'm 33, so I started out on the Nintendo, right? Got okay. into gaming that way. That was my introduction <laughs> into video games. And through video games and going to game stores, I also saw Yu-Gi-Oh cards as I, you know, <laughs> went to game stops and, and places like that. And on a whim, I got a pack, and I was hooked. I opened that first booster pack, and it was, it was over. And just the sensation of opening the pack, looking at the cards, seeing the things that I loved on, from the show, yeah. from the Yu-Gi-Oh! show. Yeah. And from there, you know, started playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, got into Pokemon, and then through all that, eventually got to Magic. And uh, from the age of, you know, 11 years old, I've been playing trading card games ever since. Oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, Magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon are my bread and butter, but we also do video games, lots of tabletops and, and things like that, and they're all, this is kind of a community deal here at CM Games, so everyone that works here plays the games that we, we carry, and this is really a passion for me. This is, I wouldn't do anything else. I, I love, love trading card games, so. Okay, well, and, and I mean, I know you've had success in Magic, um, as far as at some of the events that we've gone to, I've seen you crush people I know, myself <laughs> included, hopes, <laughs> dreams shattered. And I, I've interacted with you guys at shows. And, and CM Games has, has been at uh, many different conventions as well as like the SCG Tour back when that was a, a twice or three times a month type show that would travel around. Um, that's where I really first got to meet you guys and got to interact. And everybody was super nice. Everybody was extremely knowledgeable. If you had a question about a deck, I mean, if you were trying to remember a card, you could literally walk up to your booth and go, hey, what's that one card that does this in this deck? And with 100% accuracy, like 99.9% .9 of the time, unless it was a troll question of just like some random thing. But you guys, your, your entire staff didn't matter who answered the question, everybody knew. So uh, it really speaks to being invested in the hobby that you're working in and selling. So, all right, so we are at one of seven locations. So. And the owners have retired, so now you're the person kind of running the show of this this multiple ring circus. So yeah. I kind of want to know about the history of CM Games. Where did CM Games originate from? Yeah, so long, long time ago, you know, I was 15 years old, and the only location that we had back then was a little kiosk at West Town Mall, right, Just inside of a mall. and. From that one kiosk location selling magic cards, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Pokemon, way back then, it grew into a, a brick and mortar store, an actual storefront, okay. started hosting tournaments, and from there added a, a second location, and then eventually a third, and from there, you know, the, we just keep on adding new store locations and, you know, beautifying the ones that we do have, <laughs> um, and it's, it's just been great. It's, 
I love it and I don't see the growth ending anytime soon. Okay, so in the kiosk in the mall, the, the first CM Games location, was that sealed product or singles or both or or because when I think of a kiosk in the mall, I think of the board game and calendar kiosk that pops right. up every November yeah. that you know, like you could go buy things, but it's it's really not a game store experience. So so was that the original? <laughs> the original concept was actually the Beanie Babies and Webkins, and there were some. <laughs> Little sealed oh. products up there as well, you know, some yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh packs, Magic packs, Pokemon packs. Uh, eventually, we added the singles at the kiosk. At the kiosk, wow! Yeah. And it it was basically a little setup with cases, and you know, it was a tiny little store that sat in the middle of the mall. But we saw success there, and we decided we can make that work in a in a brick and mortar location. Awesome! That that see that that's mind blowing because normally, now when I think of a car uh, of a game store. I only think brick and mortar. I think, uh, you know, I've seen, I've been to your location in the mall, um, West Town Mall, I believe. You guys still yeah. have a very large, beautiful location there. Uh, we, we, I've been there uh, a couple of times and it is really well laid out with a smaller play space than what this store has, I, I would say. Uh, just because it's a retail heavy traffic flow type of location. Um, and, and this store, you have dedicated play spaces to miniatures, especially room for what uh, uh, feels like a role-playing room. Yeah. Uh, and then you have obviously this area out here where you have uh, a lot of tables for collectible card games. And you were saying that some of these tables are converted into tabletop miniature uh, wargaming as well. You just have a large event coming up soon. Yeah. So The concepts continue to evolve as we <clears throat> continue to open up new locations. Like you said, it was West Town is a little bit different now than it looked when the BCW team came down and we, we did one of those awesome events that you guys host. So, <laughs> um, but this space is not as retail oriented as it is gaming oriented. Sure. You know, this is a very destination location, at, but people have made it their destination. We get, you know, 50 or 60 people here every weeknight for, for trading card games and events, so. I was here last night and, and the house was packed. Yeah. Like I, I came by, I got in town late last night. Uh, I think I, I stopped by about eight o'clock. You guys closed at nine. And I would say, rough guess, I would say 45 to 60% of the tables were full. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. like, like I, I'm, I'm just saying full. An hour before closing, people still playing. I saw some commander games going on. I'm guessing it was Popper as well from, from some of the conversations I overheard in Magic the Gathering was going on. There were people looking at miniatures. Uh, there, there were people shopping. And it really had a wonderful vibe in this location. So, uh, you know, I, I'm blown away. I really love the aesthetic. I really love how you guys have each area kind of self-contained but everything you need is in that area, but it's close to something you might also be interested in. So like the video games and into the miniature, I know a lot of people that have played video games that were like, oh, these miniatures look really cool. And it's like, oh, you like, the, oh, oh, here's some miniatures next to the role playing and th that goes back and forth. If you're looking for a specific miniature for a character, you, it's close by if, if they don't make it. Uh, you know, it's just uh, well thought out design and, and, and space layout. And then you guys have the board games and video games. Um, so we're up to kind of present day. You guys have six locations in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. You have one location in Kentucky. Yep. You guys vend at conventions. You vend at shows. So, so you have well staffed seven locations. Is your travel team separate, or is that also part of the store staff as well? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I want to be transparent. Through the pandemic, staffing has, has been you know, an, an evolving right. situation. Um, we've been very lucky, though. Again, we only hire people who are heavily entrenched in the hobbies that we embody, which is video games, trading card games, tabletops. We don't want people that don't love what we do here. Okay. And we've been very lucky to find those people and to retain those people even even through the pandemic. But uh, the the people that we have on the show team, these guys are diehards. <laughs> yeah. the, that, these guys are, are people that live, breathe, eat, sleep. It's all about magic, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon. 
And you know, at, at one point on the SCG tour, I'm sure you remember when SCG was doing 40 shows a year, we were spending <laughs> every weekend together. It was yeah. great. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it, all those guys would spend more time on the road at shows than we did at home, and we wouldn't have it any other way. You know, we love, love being at these events. We love vending. And uh, it's, it's been a, a great ride, really, just getting to, to do all these shows. And we're excited to get back and do more of them here soon. Yeah, it, it, we, we have uh, Star City with SCG Con dating this a little bit, but th they've made the announcement that they're going to have a, a minimum of 10 SCG Cons that will travel around. I'm sure one of them will be back in Roanoke, probably the one in November, if, it were, if I were just blind guessing. Yeah. We've, we've got uh, many of these shows coming up. And I'm hoping this is the kind of like dipping the toe back into the water of more shows opening up. Uh, we had uh, a limited attendance Gen Con last year in Indiana. Um, we have uh, several events cancel, obviously. We, we see different variants of, of the year that shall not be mentioned that's turned into two years that I really don't want to talk about. And I'm hoping this, this is the end of it. I'm hoping we're going to get back into uh the new normal i don't want to go say get back to normal but get back to the new normal and uh you know i i miss the shows i don't miss being on the road 40 40 weeks uh out of <laughs> out of 52. i don't yeah. I, I mean it was fun i had a lot i ate a lot of good food and a lot of good conversations but that was a that was a rough grind it really it felt like a rough grind to me um and uh uh, I, I can't, that's why I was blown away to find out. Like, I think at that time you guys had four locations plus the travel team. You guys have since added two more locations here, one in Kentucky as well. And you still have a road crew. Um, you know, you guys are all over the place. So you guys are not only entrenched, but you embody the hobbies that you're in. I know uh, I, I share a lot of these hobbies um, and, and don't, don't tell my wife. Uh, but no, I'm joking. Like, like, like I, I enjoy magic. Obviously, I've played Pokemon. I've never played Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll be honest. I've never really played Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, that I, I started in Magic. Mm -hmm. um, I'm old enough to say, <laughs> to say I started in Magic. Um, but I, I, I started in Magic, and then kind of worked backwards. Yu-Gi-Oh looks interesting. Um, I know they just got a new electronic version of the game that seems to be extremely popular and a great platform um you know role-playing miniatures video games i was there with you with the nintendo you sound uh, like a perfect tire you're, uh, you're, on, you're on the team <laughs> no, 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 no 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 this is not an interview for that <laughs> yet uh no but the the honestly like like you guys embody every hobby that that i have been involved in and like i said we've we've had many conversations uh, you, myself, your staff, it, 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 it's amazing. And you get that same experience at your stores. Like I said, I stopped by last night and was able to have a conversation about a Games Workshop product and you know a really uh, in-depth conversation. It wasn't just, uh, well, this is the line that we have. I mean, it was, hey, well, if you like this, maybe you should look at this and, and look this up. And there was no pressure to buy just solid advice, and I really appreciate that from your staff. And it, it, to be honest, after dealing with the staff on the road, I wouldn't expect anything less. Like, you guys are phenomenal at what you do. So let's talk about how people can plug into Card Monster. So if you're in Knoxville, if you're in Lexington, Kentucky, check out Card Monster or CM Games. But how can people keep up to date? Let's say you've got people that aren't close by. Do you have ways for them to interact with you? Do you have ways for them to plug in? If they're traveling through, can they find your events? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they can find, uh, all of our stores have their individual Facebook pages, CM Games and then the locations. So CM Games Lexington, CM Games Chattanooga, Knoxville, Morristown, Mar I mean, you'll, you'll be able to find us if you type CM Games into Facebook. But we also have uh, a, a Twitter, we also have uh, Instagram, and now we're dabbling in TikTok a little bit. Oh no. So, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> hey, you gotta get with the times. Most, most used platform right now is currently TikTok. Oh, so. no. um, but yeah, you can find us on all those platforms, either under CM Games or Card Monster Games. You'll be able to find us anywhere. Uh, okay. We're everywhere you wanna be. <laughs> well, and, and, and you guys do special events for like larger special events than 
most stores. So, 100%. So there would be a reason to travel to a CM Games event if people were aware of them. So I know you guys have put on large Magic cash prize events. I know you guys have a large Yu-Gi-Oh event um, that's coming up at the time of filming, not the time of airing. So sorry you missed that. Um, but you guys also do a lot with the other games that you're involved with as well, correct? Correct, yeah. Basically every weekend in this location, we, we cap out an event. It's either a 90 to 120 player Magic event, or a Yu-Gi-Oh event, or a Pokemon event, or there's something always going on here. Um, but we also host things like Yu-Gi-Oh regionals. We, when SCG's doing them, SCG regionals. Um, we're hosting a couple things at the convention center coming up. So if you are a gamer, you'll want to check out one of those pages and, and see what's coming up because we have all kinds of things going on all the time. Yeah, and I, I would highly recommend it. Again, well-run events, great organized uh, play experience on top of having very knowledgeable staff kind of just makes it a complete package. Yeah. It really does. We, yeah, and we try to bring that whole package and it's not just an event. It's not just, you know, the people that are, are working it either. We also have our vendor booth is at all of our shows, right? Yep. So we have all the singles, all the cards you could ever want, and we buy them all back too. So, I, And I will say, uh, when I played Magic, more competitively than I do nowadays. Uh, I have bought many decks from CM Games. I have sold many cards to CM Games. The exchange rate was prime for me as somebody who would rotate decks. And, and you're shaking your head because you're like, yeah, like every weekend, dude. Like, <laughs> it's like, well. like clockwork, uh, I, I would do that. And it is, I, I don't think I ever ran into a situation where I couldn't build a deck at your show booth. Like, like start to finish, you guys are normally stocked deep, unless there was a run on a specific card. And even at that, I would your staff would be like, hey, Rick, I know you were looking for this. We got three in, do you need them? Like, they would flag me down. Hey, we got three of those in, do you need them? Yeah, I'll, I, we'll just take them back. We'll, we'll, we got you, come on. You know, like, like, attention to detail and I'm not anybody special at those events like like I saw you guys do it for other people as well if they knew that you guys were if you you knew they were looking for a card your staff would hey somebody was looking for this cool I know who it is yeah and boom. 100% yeah CM Games is, is growing card monster is growing but we haven't lost that hobby shop you know where your local guys feel uh, whether we're on the road or not so like you said, you you did a lot of buying and selling with us, but we have a lot of regular customers, not just online and not just in our stores, but on the road too, oh, yeah. where you know you'll see the same guys standing in line waiting to sell and trade with us basically every weekend. So, yep. Yeah. Yeah. I I I I I testify, audience, viewer, friend, watching this. Yes, they they a hundred percent would have probably one of the deepest lines of people selling and and trading cards, uh, and one of the deepest, if not the deepest, card selection available. I'm waiting for you to get into my new game with singles. <laughs> I really want, want you guys to jump on that flush and blood board. I, I, I know uh, that, that hopefully that's something that may come around this year. Uh, not for me anything you've said, just that game has grown in popularity. It and, is, for uh, sure. We're, we're getting a lot of interest, for sure, in Flesh and Blood. Especially with Star City now hosting uh, Flesh and Blood events at SCG Cons. Uh, you know, that... that Hopefully, that could be a catalyst that also helps. But uh, one last question as we wrap this up, and I, I, I always ask this question, and I'm always hesitant to say, okay, look, I'm not looking for the, I hope we're still open answer, but where do you want to see Card Monster or CM Games in the next two to three years? Like, what, what is, if you, if you could speculate, what, what are your hopes for... CM games in the next two or three years. Yeah, so I don't want to put the cart before the horse and I don't want to just continue to open locations just to have more CM games locations. It's going to be about finding the people that are just as entrenched in this as the people you've met in this store or on the, the road. So once I do find those people, I, I will be opening more locations and continuing to give this CM Games experience to more people around the region. So that's that's where we're headed. Uh, hopefully the, the shows come back in more full force and we're able to get back on the road a little more. We'll be adding a second show team as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. So I can't wait to see that. I really, I mean, 
There's some I, cool things coming down the pipeline. It's going to be cool to watch, and, and hopefully you'll get to see some of it soon. I'm, I'm hoping. I, I, I know that that is something that a lot of people in the gaming community, I don't care which gaming community you're in, are waiting on pins and needles or waiting with bated breath of, uh, of some organized play structure. We, we want to get back to the competitive side of things. We want to get back to the gatherings, if you will, because that's where we make friends. That's where we make memories and share experiences and things of that nature. So uh, I, I see it. I see some coming on board and, and I just can't wait to see what you guys have in store. Matt, thank you again so much for sitting with me, talking with me and letting me uh, film the store and answer our questions about CM Games. Friends, uh, again, if you have any questions for CM Games, find them on social media, look them up on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, on Instagram or TikTok. Uh, <laughs> I'd be sketchy about the TikTok ones. But until next time, friends, uh, remember when it comes to collecting, storing, or displaying your hobbies or collectibles, BCW has you covered.